Okay, so in this video I'm going to be making a sheet to put all the components of the house on to print out so we can show other people. And usually the sheet size is about A3, but I don't actually have an A3 printer so I'm going to have to do mine on A4. But really it's the same thing, it's just scaled up or scaled down. whatever. So to do a sheet we go to the view tag and click sheet and we'll get this little menu, I'm just going to click OK and now right, we get this blank sheet ok so now we can go up here and fill in the details of the sheet, so for the owner I'm just going to call it Revit House project name, we're going to empty it unname, I'm going to call it Michael Johnston, my name project number one, issue date I'm just going to say today's date Author Michael, please put your own name here so you can show it to the people. Check by no one, I guess. I don't know. And there. Now you notice that question mark has gone away because it's empty and it's not anything. But if you ever do want to edit that field, just click here and you'll see it back again. Okay, so now let's start dragging elements into it. But before we do that, let's go to the view and crop it because we don't want a lot of this outside actually I'll start with 01 alright see we don't need all this uh, camera view things for the elevations but so we'll just go up to here and we use the crop tool show crop region and we can just drag that just to what we want center it and there we go. So we just have the part that we want to have. And that seems about right, so okay. And we'll do the same thing for O2. Oh, but you see here in O2 we have terrain and you can see an underlay of it's underneath. We don't really need that, but yeah, I'll just have it anyway. But if you do want to turn it off you can just go to here in the properties and you can take underlay and change it to none and they'll get rid of everything underneath I personally like it though for editing and stuff and I, f I find it gives a good you know detail of it so I'm gonna keep it and we'll do the crop region again so same thing again uh, drag all the way down to what we want I don't need that table Okay. Whoops. And I can go a bit more further down. All right. And we'll go to the sheet. No, it's here. Sorry. Sheet. I oh, wish play give that a better name. So we'll rename it to whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine presentation. All right. And now we can drag the views in. So we'll go oh, one level. We'll just drag it in. and same with two drag it in now what do you know it's pulled in that table yet yeah, the table's not here so that's not good might as well put a table in so um, what is it well, was here legend there we go let's go back to the sheet there we go nice and But that doesn't look right. It's on the line. So a lot of this you have to, you know, get quite yeah, rearrange all the stuff properly to make it look good. So there we go, that's all right. Uh please disregard that. That's just one of my friends. Okay. And what else do we need? We should get a the section we made, I guess. So we'll go to section one. Uh, where's section one? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Did I make a section? Pretty sure I made a section. Where 
is that section? Uh, I honestly have no idea where my section's gone. It was just there before. I remember making it. Regardless, so I'm going to go back and I guess I have to do it again. So I'll go quickly. If you have your section, like you should, you should have your section there. Then just drag that section in. I'm gonna have to quickly make it. So what was it? it was, was it annotate? Uh, maybe it wasn't. It was insert maybe. No. View. Ah, here view. And just quickly drag it across. Yep, that's it. Okay. And here it is. Section one, that's what we want. And I'm gonna drag my section one in to it. And that that's looking good. And what else should I have? I should have the north elevation, I guess. So here. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that, that looks right, so So I'll move it here. And remember it's three thousand. Sorry, because when you move it, it does actually change. Because I can't move it perfectly straight. This one was zero. And what do you know? I did zero perfectly. So this one's three f minus three thousand. Yep. And this numbers has changed. So. And this one's minus five thousand two hundred. And the house should look normal, I guess. Make sure I didn't change anything drastic. Uh, no, nope, that all seems the same as before. Just make sure you do watch those numbers because you don't want to have it different because this will actually change the level we did. Anyway, so I'll go back to crop region. If you're wondering why I did that, I didn't want it to be very elongated. Like I wanted these in the the region, but they're all the way out there, so it's quite unnecessary. So there we go. Okay, and we'll go back to the presentation. Drag that north elevation in. Yep. All right, and now let's do the schedules that we made. So door schedule of course and room schedule align those and there we go that's all quite well laid out I like it and I'm quite happy with all this so I think I want to print it, yep. So, first I'll hit save, of course. And now I'll print it, so I'll go here and print. Well, first I'll go print preview. Yes, that's all looking quite well. Okay, so, thank you for watching these, this series. I hope you've learnt a lot over it. Uh, unfortunately, this will be one of the last. I'm going to do one more, rendering it. But that would be the last Revit video I make. And so, well, goodbye.